Okay, welcome to the Shaolin Chef. Today what we're going to make is uh, stuffed uh, acorn squash. Um, each acorn squash could feed about two people normally, or if you divide it into fours, it's a great appetizer. What I like about this uh, recipe is that it's local, so you're eating local, and also it's a seasonal, great seasonal recipe, so I like to do this on Christmas and also on Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas, which it is today, by the way. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our ingredients. First of all, what you have is an acorn squash, you have sweet potatoes, you have apples, you have real deal maple syrup, nuts, to you, whatever kind of nuts, and oh yeah, what I like to do is, I like to toss raisins in mine, or craisins, I don't want to brand a name drop, but um, those are pretty tight fits, and better stuff and brown sugar. Okay, so uh, all about this uh, recipe is to basically season things to taste. So as you like them, uh, uh, sweeten it, have it more uh, uh, sweet potato-ish or whatever, more like the actual, the, the meat inside of the acorn squash. It's up to you. So um, let's start cooking. Thanks. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to prepare the filling for the um, acorn squash. So what you want to do is get yourself a really good pot. This is my great-grandmother's pot. This pot is about 100 years old, and uh, it has lots of power. So um, if you don't believe in that sort of stuff, you don't have to believe it. Like me, you can just put water in this pot, and the whole house will smell good. It's those kind of pots. So you need a pot. Put some good water. Okay, some good milk. Just, just not too much, just a little bit. Gonna take your sweet potatoes. And your apples. And in fact, you could inside, I mean, for the insides, you could have um, some celery sliced, you could have carrots. It's uh, the whole, this is basically customizable to your taste. Uh, but what I like to do by cooking the insides, it allows you to prepare the inside separate from the shell. In some cases with the shell, uh, folks like to steam them. I've steamed them, I've roasted them, I've uh, just baked them all different types of ways looking for that right texture and I find everyone likes it at one time and someone might not like it or whatever. You do it to your taste. So uh, at this point what we like to do is we're going to put this mix on the stove get it boiling and then kind of break it down. Oh, and another really good thing that goes inside is plantains. Do not underestimate Platino. Thanks. Okay, so it's about two hours till dinner time and what I've been able to do is take the acorn squash, you hollow them out, you, well you split them in half, Take out the seeds. This is for the birdies, for the birdies. Or you could dry them out and some folks eat them. And you take out some of the meat from within the shell. I like to use an ice cream scoop. Good investment, let me tell you something. When it comes to a task like this, a good ice cream, goods, uh, a good ice cream scoop is uh, essential and it's always good to use these on watermelon in addition to ice cream. So, we fill it up, then we take our meat and we put it in the pot of wonderfulness and I'll swing the camera around so you can take a look. Okay, so this is the pot of wonderfulness that has been cooking. As you can see, I have the sweet potatoes, the apples, the spices, all the good stuff in there. And, yeah, it's a good to have an occasional seed in there. It reminds you that you're eating something that's fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's not strained. So, inside of this wonderfulness, of course, you put your 
spices. And I'm going to ask my wonderful assistant, when she's done with the water, if she can grab open the spices. I'm adding a little bit of clove. And we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. And we're going to add a little bit of nutmeg. And we're going to let that boil down. So, kind of chop this up, break it up. Now, again, this is something you could texture the taste. Some you might like big, thick bits, or you might like thin bits. It's all up to you. Same thing with managing the heat on it. You want it to whatever your consistency is. What I like to do is now that I have everything kind of getting its mush together, it's making it looks quite well. Uh, what I'll go ahead and do is. I'll turn around and I'm going to add one, first my optional ingredients, ingredients. In this case, I'm going to add a little bit of raisins. I can go wrong with raisins. Not too much. Well, that's a lot. Sometimes things happen. That's why we always have the backup plan. Shaolin method. Bye. Take out those extra bits. And mix it all up. This is a great time if you have plantains to toss them in too. See, it looks pretty tasty, doesn't it? <clears throat> Alrighty. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat down a bit. And I'm going to put my lid on. Okay, so we're ready to bake the, the acorn squash shells. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the acorn squash, we're going to place them upside down in a pan, generally a shower pan, pour a little bit of water in there to keep them from drying out, and we're going to bake them for about an hour at 300. Okay, again, if you like them more... Uh, let's say less soft, uh, then you could pull them out whenever you're ready for them. Again, they are quite tasty, and um, again, this is something that you want to have seasoned to your taste. Thanks. Okay, so we're going into the oven, shallow pan, about 300 degrees. Uh, again, these are things that are done to your taste, so we're going to get them about let's see, an hour at 300, and um, from then on, we should be good to go with the shells. They should be ready when, in about an hour. Okay, so um, we're ready to take a look at our filling. And as you can see, I've put two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. It's nice and melted into a puddle right about there in the middle. And on top of this wonderful sweet puddle, what you're going to do is you're going to pour a little bit of maple syrup. Again, this is something that you season the taste. If you like it sweet, sweet, or you could just do without. Okay? Get that all in there, and we're going to mix that up. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right, so we got all that stuff together. Our oven's at 350 with our shells in there. I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm going to add one more thing, um, and I'll be right back with it. As you can see, I have added the secret ingredient. It's butter. Of the gods, do not abuse, but use liberally. So... I'm going to put all this wonderful, tasty stuff together. I was using telepresence style stirring. That's what led to my earlier accident, meaning I was looking through the camera for something that was, what, 12, no, 24 inches away from me. But um, unfortunately, I got a little distracted.
but we're back in the groove. So we're going to get all this taken care of. And let that settle. Put that on the pot, and we're just going to let it sit. Okay, so quick correction, I had baked the shells at 350, I said 300 before I think. So um, the shells are about halfway done. I just turned them over, they're still sitting in a little bit of water, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the contents of this pot and place it in the shells. Okay, be right back. So we got our shells filled, and back into the oven they go for about another half hour. I have a little bit of stuff left over. Quite tasty. I can snack on that. So here we are, approximately an hour and a half from the time we started. Um, and we have a wonderful meal that could be uh, served right alongside whatever meat or eaten alone. I want to thank my wonderful assistant, my wife, Tony, and um, also my family for giving me a lab to test out my new cooking ideas. We get all put our foot in it, so to speak. So, here it is, Tony's stuffed acorn squash.